that it was worth it. Ben Zeitman, our director. <laughs> Especially, let's hear the kids. Um, I've grown up with these guys. Uh, they're the most extraordinary bunch of people. You'll, you'll meet them all after the screening. Please don't go anywhere. Um, you'll want to see how big they've gotten while we've been, they've been making this film. Um, and um, you know, I want to I wanna also thank Searchlight for uh, what has to be unprecedented patience um, with the project and, and really allowing us to go on uh, what's been the adventure of a lifetime uh, making this film since I've seen everybody. So thank you. I'm so excited to share this movie with everybody who made it and also the rest of the room. Um, thank you for filling these seats. I've been dreaming of this image uh, for longer than anybody uh, could imagine. So um, what do you say? Y'all want to watch Movie Kids? <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Um, I want to call up uh, our cast members. Um, anybody still in the audience is in the film. Um, Matt Owens, Roger Kennedy, Will Landis, uh, Shay Walker, y'all come up here. Um, I also like to welcome out uh, the co-writer of the film, the production designer, also my sister, Liza Zylan. And uh, let's, why don't you all head out that way? Yeah. Um, and then, uh, oh, Dorothy Jean Ross, come on out. <laughs> um, and then uh, let's bring on kids. Avad Cage. Just before we start, can anybody who worked on the film please stand up? We have our whole amazing crew almost here. Stand up, give these guys a round of applause. Well, I'll, I'll open up the audience in a second, but I just want to start off by asking um, Ben, why did you... Can we move on now? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Why did you want to retell the story of Peter Pan? Um, I think we wanted to save ourselves from growing up. Um, is a big part of it. Um, me and Eliza have been, this is the movie we've dreamed about making our whole lives since we were tiny children. Um, and, um, you know, it, it was this moment kind of um, after the last time I was in this room um, and our whole world Outside for of House and Alley and then making films, and um, it was this moment where we felt, you know, we were, suddenly our, our Neverland was like changing, and, and we felt we were getting older, and we wanted to, um, you know, make a story that, uh, that looked towards growing up with hope somehow, and we didn't know how to figure that out, because we've been horrified of our whole lives, of, you know, like, how do we become these horrible people from these beautiful people, you know, so, um, you know, we wanted to, we wanted to figure that out, and, and this was the adventure that we felt would lead us to the to the answer. The question was about places they shot. Oh wait, the pie is not up here. Also, <laughs> <laughs> this is Mr. Montserrat. 
Um, Ahmad, you, you seem very confident. <laughs> what you got? Testing, testing. <laughs> so, um, we went to Antigua, Mazaret, New Mexico. No, 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 Mexico, Mexico. All right, I'm gonna take it from here. <laughs> we went to do, most of the film was shot um, on, a, on a, small, a small island called Montserrat that you see the, the active volcano and the buried city. That, that sort of was the inspiration for the, for the movie, for the, for the Neverland. Um, we also shot in the neighboring island of Antigua where uh, Yashua, uh, our Peter, is from, and uh, Barbuda. We also filmed in Louisiana, where the rest of these wonderful people are all from, um, uh -huh. and around New Orleans, and um, we also filmed in Mexico, country. Um, and that, that was where, we were in the cenotes, and that was where the water caves were shot. So we sort of built a Neverland out of many different places. Um, the question is about how do you keep the kids safe during the um, Well, let me start. Cinematography, Sterling Roblin is in the audience. <laughs> You know, that was really one of the central challenges of the film was to make it seem as dangerous as possible while always being completely safe. Um, and there was a lot of trickery involved. There's a lot of wires that are removed. Um, we had an amazing team of stuntmen. Anytime the kids are in the water, they're surrounded by divers, um, you know. And, uh, you know, we, we created the style of the film in this sort of documentary feel where the camera doesn't really know what's gonna happen uh, to, to make it feel like things were out of control and to make it feel like um, you know, that we were just shooting a documentary where kids are falling off trains and staying underwater for 10 minutes, but, you know, that, that was the magic, and, 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 you know, we really wanted, part of, part of what really made me want to make this film is, you know, to me, as a kid, having an adventure meant doing something dangerous. It meant getting dirty, it meant getting wet, like, it was visceral and it was tactile, and I felt like so many of the kids' adventures that you see now are just someone you know in a studio on a green screen. They never go outside. They're not in nature, and, and we wanted to really give this feel of, of and, and bring people back to this moment where their childhood was really visceral and filthy, and it was okay to get hurt. And you know that feeling is something that we really wanted to to give people because that really connects me to childhood, and, and that's a thrill that I think that we're quick we're quickly losing as we try so much to protect everybody from getting hurt all the time. But that said. Nobody got it. <laughs> um, I got ants in his pants one time, actually. Oh, yes. <laughs> now they're gonna all start talking about their injuries, but uh, <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, I think that um almost the whole group that was crying. <laughs> that hurts too. Right? <laughs> Question. Are they dirty? Are yeah. They, the, the kid, yeah. Yeah, the, the dirt's real. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have time for two more questions. Yes, please, right here. Um, I have a question from the movie. I want to know how you feel about seeing yourself younger on screen and your reaction to the movie. Our sound is so young. Yeah. <laughs> start, let's start over here. Yeah. Um, so, first of all, this is really amazing, and um, I'm so happy that I got to work with all these amazing people in the audience and up here with me. Um, it's really shocking, like really shocking to see us, uh, ourselves up here. I mean, I never, ever would have imagined, you know, like years ago that I'd be here. It's, it's just so amazing to see what all these amazing people can come together to complete and create, and I'm so, so happy with everyone that worked on this film. Thank you so much. Okay, I just, I laugh at it because it's funny watching me do stuff that I did on video. <laughs> so, yeah, and over the time of us shooting the movie, I had to change my voice back to how it was in the original. <laughs> so when we were doing lines in the office, I would have to, like, I'll talk my real voice, no, lower. <laughs> what about this? Perfect. <laughs> okay, I was just being sarcastic with it. Okay. <laughs> and that's basically what happened. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.